All right, people. All right, people. He said, and, and treat the younger as a sister. Well, you got to also, he said, treat the younger as a brethren. All right, then. Okay. How many people have brothers and sisters? I know there's some people who ain't got brothers and sisters out there that don't know. Sometimes you got to correct your brother and sister. <laughs> oh, I had to throw that in there. You know, you love your brother and sister a lot. You love them. You love them so much. And sometimes you got to tell them like it is. Sometimes you got to tell your sister like it is. Sometimes you got to tell your brother like it is. I'm just going to the part that people don't want to talk about. I can say the good things. Yeah, you know how to love your brother and sister in that form of fashion. But that's love too. Rebuke is love. Y'all don't know that? People think you when you say treat your brother and sister, so you treat everybody like that. <laughs> it don't matter who it is. No respect to persons. No partiality in this world. If you're a boss, you got to learn how to do what? Correct people. I don't care who you are. You got to tell them how it is. Or it's not your, your job is going to run crazy. You got to correct folks. You got bosses who are scared to correct people. Just let them, I don't know why things ain't changing here. Oh, you know how to show love. Like, I can buy you a hamburger. I can give you what you ass up. But I'm scared to say something to you when you mess up. What's wrong with people? But he tell you how to do it with elders. With older people, you got to really know what you're talking about, people. You understand? But you, we was taught to respect our elders. This world in this day and age, people don't respect nobody. But they don't respect their parents. It starts at home. It starts at home. They don't obedient. They ain't obedient to their parents. They don't even know how to be obedient to you or anybody else. Because the home messed up. It starts at home. Everything starts at home. You understand? Everything starts at home. You do know that. And what starts at home carries out there. I went to church Sunday. He was like, uh, let your light show shine before men that people would glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light shine. But the sermon was about happy. Be happy. That part of it. Yeah, you're going to be happy as a Christian most of the time. But sometimes you ain't. Letting your light shine is not always Smiling all the time. Do I look like Joel Osteen to you? You understand? That's light too, though. But you got both happiness and everything else that come with it. Be patient. Yes, be patient. Be patient with your employee. Be slow to anger with your employees. But when you get mad, sometimes you got to say what needs to be said because you just show patience. Do you understand? Oh, that's against the word. No, it's not. Slow to anger. In the scripture, it says, lay hands on no man suddenly. <laughs> I, me, I, I may be wrong in this, but uh, lay hands on no man suddenly. <laughs> I'm just going to let y'all think on that one yourself. Lay hands on no man suddenly. Suddenly. You understand? Every time you're getting mad, you want to punch somebody in the face. That's suddenly. Slow tanger. Turn the other cheek as much as you can. That's what I'm going to tell you. Turn the cheek, just like Jesus said. Turn the cheek. I tell people like this. You got two cheeks on your face, and you got two cheeks that's connected to your buttocks. And sometimes you got to just walk away. Before you have to turn another cheek Theirs I just, I just, You gotta walk away I'm gonna be the bigger man and walk Away I'm gonna be the bigger woman and walk Away Cheeks Just thinking cheeks You got two cheeks on your face and two cheeks that are behind you You understand But be careful now You got some people that like to sneak you when you walk away But anyway <laughs> Hey people I'm just gonna be real with you can I level with you today? I ain't finished yet. I ain't finished yet. You understand? Scripture tells you exactly how to be. Don't be greedy for gain. How women should behave themselves. You know, but the thing is, it's there for a reason. Because things happen. People go through relationship problems. They go through divorces. 
And the first thing most people want to do when they divorce, you're going to have that devil come around, one of them family members. You need to start going back out. You need to start behaving yourself unruly again. I know when you was married, you know, you was doing the married thing, you know, doing what you're supposed to do. But now you're no longer married. So go out there and have you a good time. Let's go on vacation. Let's go to Vegas. Let's go to Sin City. And what happens in Vegas stays there. Satan, get behind me. Because that's what you're going to have a lot of people do when you're going through something. A real friend, start back going to church. <laughs> start seeking God more. Pray night and day. Enjoy your home. You know you can make your home a party spot. It's yours. You can enjoy yourself there. One of my biggest joys in the world is to sit back, listen to music, drink me some wine, <laughs> a beer sometimes, some liquor sometimes, at my house. I really love my home. God has blessed me with a home and I love it so much. People are like, you wanna go out tonight? You wanna go to the club? Hey, I am the club. Watch this. Dude, dude, I'm listening to whatever music. I ain't got to ask the DJ to request nothing. I'm the DJ. I can make my drink how I want to make it. And if I get too under the floors, I can pass out. Lord, forgive me. I'm in my house. You understand? I'm in my home. Y'all better understand what home means. People always want the best house in the world. Lord, bless me with a five-bedroom house with an outside bar and an inside bar and a pool table and all this but then you call somebody hey man you want to go play pool at the club are you crazy stop wasting your money God get you a oh, you got a pool too I want to go to the beach it's okay to go to the beach sometime I ain't gonna tell you not to but you ain't gotta go out 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 of town people be praying for homes to not be in them oh not Houston not Houston McCullum Beard Jr. Not Houston the second. No. God has blessed me with a house. And I'm trying to be spotless. I'm not trying to be in the world. I'm trying to be at home. You understand? Somebody needs some prayer. Call me up. I can pray for you for a distance too. God leave me to come to your house. I'll do that too. But I don't realize something as I become grow stronger in Christ. Sometimes God just set people on your mind. You understand? He'll let you know, go here, go there. He'll let you do that too. But you gotta understand, don't be a busybody trying to go to 